News at 5 starts now. Hey, good evening. It's great to have you with us on this New Year's Eve. I'm Nick McGurk, in for Glenn Mills. And I'm Rosie Nguyen, in for Emily Flores. Thank you for joining us tonight, and Happy New Year's Eve. Well, it's a year many of us won't forget. I know I won't. As we look ahead to a new year, medical staff with Intermountain Healthcare are reflecting on what they've learned in 2020 and what they most look forward to next year. ABC4's Haley Hendricks is live outside the Riverton Hospital with the story. Hi, Haley. Hi, Rosie. I think it's safe to say this is a year many of us will not forget as it's tried and challenged each of us in our own ways. Now, tonight, our health care workers share how this year has shaped them and their hopes for a new year. My wish for 2021. My wish. Is My wish for next year. My wish for the next year is to have this pandemic over. We would see something after COVID. Commitment to the safety of each other. We would all kind of learn how to come together as a, you know, a human race. And as 2020 comes to a close, Intermountain Healthcare workers are ready to welcome in a new year that they believe holds hope for humanity. I am most hopeful for uh, our communities to be vaccinated enough uh, to be able to open businesses and be able to be with their families again safely and have our life just back to normal. Since the beginning of the pandemic, our health care workers have helped care for thousands of Utahns fighting against COVID-19. While challenging, they say there's lessons learned. One thing I've learned this year is how adaptable and resilient nurses are. This um, increased level of stress has brought the best rather than the worst out in, in each of us. And learning a lot about ourselves, our weaknesses, and what we can do to strengthen uh, as a medical community. How resilient you know, our, our country is, how you know, everyone is. Sometimes suffering can actually bring out the best in people. How strong we can all be in the face of adversity, we can all really overcome and adapt. Wow, well, what a year it has been, and we're so thankful for our frontline health care workers. Reporting live in Riverton, Haley Hendricks, ABC4 News. Thank you, Haley.